Well, they say if you're my age and you wake up without pain, you're dead. Okay. So I need three empty syringes. Where do I find the syringes? Rubbish bins, mailboxes, medicine cabinets, medicine boxes. Okay. Basically everywhere. Yeah, Glover's coming to Steam, but it's just basically a stolen emulator uh, from people who apparently supported NFTs, so I don't know. 
don't know if I'm gonna be getting it. Walked around a little bit, stole a couple of empty syringes. Wait, because he's been well, tossing it every week for a decade. It. Why do I have a vague memory? I stashed one or two presents for my future self in there. It's vague because you were drunk. No one likes a nag, Margaret. Alright, well, let's hold the station. Could be nice to enter the shelter here. This is this one. I'm playing a psychological horror game, am I? Does we happy keep count uh we happy keep count as a psychological horror? have killed someone. It's Sunday. Nobody goes to work on Sunday. It's Monday. Uh. They're going to know it was you. You told everyone in the Duke's arms you were going to do it. What were you thinking? What do you think, lass? I was thinking I won't have to see Uncle Jack's stupid face everywhere. I'll just put up another antenna. You're right. Oh, you're always right. I think you better get out of town. And where do you expect me to live then? In the Garden District? They don't have televisions there, do they? Oh, this is boarded up. Oh, this is before. Okay, that works.
I don't know if I find British accent romantic or annoying. That's... I mean... I think Ollie is Scottish. I don't think he's... I definitely don't think he's British. See, already I find the cool part about playing Ollie, um, that you just run from everyone. Like, nobody likes you, so what's the point in trying to stick around and sneak around and shit, you know? What? Uh, fuck. Okay. What the hell? You just. You just play this as if it's always dark. In this case, because it actually is dark. Jokingly, uh, cause I, I play We Happy Few on, on Tuesdays, uh, at least until I get done with this game. Um, and I've just been jokingly calling it, uh, We Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, it helps me remember. It helps me remember my own schedule, so I mean... As really bad of a joke as it is, I'll take it. Oh. oh, oh crap. I need some gilly. Kits. My axe is nearly broken. I'm not starting off great as Ollie. I feel like once I get more things, uh, stuff will start picking up. But like... Ollie's gonna be kind of a I know you're not really play. there, lass, but you're more real than all these other bastards. Gilly? <gasps> Gilly! I found the Gilly bushes. Oh, yes, let's go. Okay. Makes me get a bomb then. Stay down, alright. Proper care, weapons wear out more slowly. 
attack faster, move faster, and block and block and attack and block less stamina. Eat rotten food without fixing. Oh, that might be helpful, actually. Agler. Oh, I should have done that. Oh, whatever. Alder, Tremole, Craftsman, Herbalist, Lucky Me, Hustler, High Tolerance. Oh, am I gonna have to- Am I gonna have to go through Wellington Wells? Or am I gonna have to go through, like, the- the- Places where I need joy? Oh, that's gonna be unfortunate. When you get left for dead and don't die, or do you come, or do you come back for blood? Sure, why not? All right, so hmm. probably gonna want this then, just on the basis of like, if I get more gear lead, it'll be useful. as much health as we can. <laughs> Ollie seems to be kind of a glass cannon. Okay. Oh, that did heal me, though. Too cool, cool. All right. I do need to still find my syringes, cause all these blood sugar is not the greatest. This is really neat, Joy. Yeah, Susie, I'm one of that. Shut up. You're right though. Oh, that's really good. I need those syringes fast. Syringes? No. Damn it. Need syringes like stat. Where am I even? Uh, I unlocked that track at. Doodles is addicted to syringes. Please, Doodles, don't go on that animal. I would never. While I'm not afraid of needles, I definitely don't particularly like them. You wouldn't happen to remember exactly where, would you? For once, she's silent. There are bees here. Ollie! Why is your house full of bees? Mm. 
Have I ever mentioned how much I am terrified of bees? All right, now you can make one of those sugar hypodermics. Now don't forget to use it if you start feeling weak, but don't overdo it. It can really hurt you if you take too much. All right. Syringes that I just made. I just made them. Oh, there we go. There we go. Blood sugar should be back to normal. Oh, I'm not looking forward to having to get more of this shit. More money. Yeah. You know how you kill bees? You cut them between A and C. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Looking forward to having to just go through and just get a bunch of honey. The scent it cannot hold, and everywhere the ceremony of innocence is drowned. All right. Don't worry, I'm coming to get you. Wait, wait. Is that Ollie Starkey? Never mind then. You don't want me to rescue you? You'll only make it worse. Somehow. Sorry, laddie. I need your help. Hey, you don't live here. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. I can use that lead pipe. This axe is not gonna last much longer. Okay. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I uh, got lost. I think he deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserting? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The juries are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. But he won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen. Just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. <laughs> guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. All right. What do you guys think happened on Trim Street? Oh. I made a doll of Mum. It's very like her. Is it? I wasn't sure. She was a tad taller. It's a doll? She was taller. That's not very funny. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, you miss her. I guess. It's just how everything is now. Nothing's the same. The way things were doesn't even seem real. I sort of miss it, and I sort of... It doesn't seem real. You have too much wisdom at your age. It's hardly fair. I got to be a complete numpty until I was 30. <laughs> what are you smiling for? I mean, Ollie just... 
Ollie literally just did say, I was a stupid fucking kid. <laughs> Great. Huh? Bobby lit the entire street on fire? <laughs> Probably. Bigger banger. Okay, this would be helpful. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh. oh, we're going the wrong way for the memorial camp. We should probably start heading that way, huh? I don't have to wear that idiotic mask. Roast beef. Beef. Well and good. Oh, some bow street probably i'm actually not entirely sure what the the thing is with we happy few and uh meat specifically v meat and beef wellington i'm not entirely too sure i don't remember if it was explained in arthur's story or what But you'll sometimes hear them, like, murmur about Beef Wellington and Bee mm. Meat. I wonder who you'd be now if you'd lived. I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. He's not getting past the front gate anyway. Just this once. Try it again, and I'll kill you. I found a loose bullet there in the mud the other day. Do you think it could still be good? You look a bit sad today. You're a bit nosy. You don't have to be mean. I am mean. Ask anybody. But you don't have to be. You're right. It seems some of the lads over at the camp didn't like being prisoners of war, so they... Well, they decided to fight back. But they lost. What did the Germans do? The Germans? Nothing. They got all the other prisoners who didn't fight back. Made them shoot them. Which would you have done if you'd been a prisoner of war? Fight back, or...? Aye. That's a question. Why aren't you a prisoner of war? And that's the other one. <laughs> Damn. Day, sir. I shouldn't be laughing, but it's... They're blowing up the it's distillery. It's really sad, but... In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick. 
Like, it's really sad. I shouldn't be laughing, but I don't know. I just think the way that that was delivered was really funny. Yep, Murdoch. Other universe you're at. What's this over here? Just some floating grass. Huh. Huh. Why is there just floating grass here? <laughs> Dud bomb. Don't you like to extract the TNT from them? Attention, all personnel. The movie tonight will be Bulldog Sees It Through. This brilliant mystery story stars Jack Buchanan. What are you doing up there? What are you, why are you there? Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the general. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the area? <laughs> it goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. Spy! Actually, neither of those things, um, Dr. R. I'm just kind of, um, I think I'm an ex-soldier who went crazy after losing his daughter in life. Something like that. I'm still trying to piece together Ollie's story. Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been an aeroplane over Wellington Wells since 1950, has there? I'm gonna have to blow a hole in it. Well, where are you going to get explosives? Easy. From the military camp. But we can't get into the military camp. Well, what about the distillery? They're going to blow it up. Right. You're always right. I wonder if they've blown it up yet. How many of these characters are there? Um... Three main ones. Act one was Arthur. Uh, Arthur was someone who, I guess, worked for the, um, the newspaper of Wellington Wells. Uh, his job was to make sure that things were high, uh, hid and censored and shit like that. Sally, also a government worker, um, was responsible for giving the bobbies their joy and like creating it. She was like a chemist. And now we have Ollie. <clears throat> Crazy madman extraordinaire. <laughs> oh, hi. Where can I? Give me my gas! 
Oh, fuck. There's another one of you. I love how you find that that bomb and you think I uh, I know I'll just drill right into it. Yeah, well. <coughs> um. That was something we had to do in Arthur's story. And it, I think it was Ollie that told us to do it initially, so... Oh, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Well, if you can't remember things, maybe you shouldn't be drinking. You're right. You're always right. Well, they obviously haven't blown it up yet. I Have I ever thought about making a podcast? Until I've had a few attempts at a podcast, actually. Help! Help! They're trying to kill me! You have to help him! What's he ever done for me? Well, he might be the man with the explosives. You're right! You're always right. Let's see what his problem is. I wonder how much liquor's left around here. Ollie, focus. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. Huh. But yeah, um... I thought about doing podcasts before. I've actually had a couple of attempts in the past. Way, 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 way back before podcasts were, like, super popular. I did one with some members of the Cabbage Patch. Way, way, way back. Like, I want to say 2012, 2013. And then in 2016, I did a podcast with Boonslayer, and we called it the Boondlecast, where we talked a lot about pop, uh, like pop music and shit like that. Thank God you're here! I think they draw to the plastique! Wait! Ollie's dark, eh? Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plagueies. It's Baden Powell! We were in the Punjab together! Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you gonna help me out? Are you gonna help me out here, Stalky? No! Forth and Without, like, sing a chat. Me more. Well, this will blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Beedham Powell. Real kiss ass he was. Nil nice I bonum, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day, studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? Oh, were you trying to raid? Uh, you're supposed to hit slash, or you're supposed to type slash raid, uh, and then the name of the person that you're raiding. You know, your Twitch decided to glitch at you? Fair enough. Why not going back to the air raid shelter? Sorry, you had to see that. All right. Where's my glucose syringe? There we go.
I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. Hello, Zula. <laughs> now, what's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now, we just go down there and pop up inside the fence. Ah, fuck. I really gotta be careful with those traps, man. How the hell does all this work? You're awfully good at this. I can make a sandwich. Let's go. to be at work. I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit. I well, guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The general? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. Wait, how can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. I just sloshes around in my head. Does that make it easier to bear? Good. Try catch. A bit of privacy at traveling won't hurt. Bond memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Oh no, absolutely not. I'm not gonna have a choice in that, am I? Try using the chemist table. All I can't use chemist table. Not the brightest bulb in the box, you know. Do you still have my reinforced cricket back? Me, yes. Attention all personnel, please remember to boil all water this week. There have been some issues with the pipes. You may want to take an extra joy or two as boiling may break it down. Marching gives you a sense of purpose. Nothing. Shit. This is not moving, by the way. To boil all water this week. There have been some issues with the pipes. You may want to take an extra joy or two as. Boiling may break it down. Donald! 
Oh, Only that's why he's not moving. What possessed you to come here? Here. I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. Okay. Hello, friend. I guess. Goes there. What's that? Who's there? Who goes there? Who's there? Jerry's in the house. Oh, fuck. There is an intruder in the camp. All personnel report to your counter infiltration station. This is not a drill. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. <laughs> I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? I'm just gonna hide it here till the till the alarm stop, you know. So how's it, everyone? Where are the alarms gonna stop even? The alarm is for the uh, sandwich break. Don't worry about it yet. <laughs> Quietly now. <sighs> The tanks were fake! The German tanks in the camp, paper mashy! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost at Christmas pass. Before the train, tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? 
<laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, you can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> they'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should wow. visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better, doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. Uh-oh. You better get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. I did get one of them. That Ramsgate. Pretty sure I did. And they not see me. I think I'm going the opposite way from where the cook is at. Watch your step. Why are you walking through the bushes? Why are you walking through the bushes? Have I shown you the picture? Of... I have. To go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit, I hope in. Do you remember my meat pounder that I lent you two years ago and you lost it smashing some televisions? That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face, damn collaborator. Traitor! Now, you bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's see, two bob. Five. Quiet. You want them to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up. I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge. You're not hiding all these starky in that car, are ya? I did not think it fit. <laughs> Not unless I cut I'm him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along if you don't mind. Highway robbery. I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Crap. All off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm gonna have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. 
and come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. It's supposed to itch. My eyesight isn't that bad. Center cannot hold. And am I? Bread. Bread. Where do they bury them? I'll ask you that. Strange how everyone looks the same. Like we're all just. I need to get more honey at some point. I'm not entirely sure a good place to do that. No one gave me, and I did eat. I too struggle with memory issues. Not to that extent, mind you, but strange how like I do find same. myself with like a patchwork of, of my own recollection of the events sometimes. Where are the That's why I keep so many receipts. That's why I uh, I keep so many screenshots, why I never like delete anything. Why I uh, I record conversations if I think they're important. Or if I think they will be important. I don't particularly have the best recollection of events either. The like things that go on in my, in my life. Oh, I feel for him. a big one. We don't know things, isn't there? I can kind of relate. Oh God, please stop it! They're Why'd you take the vanilla? You know it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, 
don't see any honey. But there are bees here. New doll? This is Hildegard. German? No, she's Swiss. And she's married to Philippe. Oh, she's taken. That's too bad. She's quite lovely. Why aren't you married? Oh, that's a hell of a question. Uh, all right. Um, <clears throat> there was a girl. Oh, she had a mouth on her. If you crossed her, she'd tell you things that made your hair fall out. <laughs> it's why I'm bald, you see. Oh, why didn't you marry her? Because I was poor. Because I was stupid. And then because I was too late. She took the last boat to Canada. Sometimes you feel life is a never-ending series of choices, but then most of them bring you back to the same place. There's few enough choices that matter. Try not to fuck those up. Ollie! Pardon my friend. <sighs> I'm gonna need more of that. Am I my brother's keeper? Observe how the concrete is used for its raw and unpretentious honesty, contrasting with the pretentious ornamentality of the Victorian buildings of the parade. Rather than hiding the structure, the surface preserves the shape of the in-situ casting forms, revealing the nature of its construction. Well, I think it's hideous. I've never fathomed brutalism myself. I try not to kill them. Sometimes. I don't even know what for. Because they're still people. Hey. Now, try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Hello. Would you like to donate to our Uncle Jack charity? <laughs> Uncle drive? Jack charity. On your trolley, you happy wee fuck bumper. Ollie! Oh, my goodness. You're Ollie Starkey. It's Ollie Starkey. Fuck the lot of you! Jack's a collaborator and a traitor! Uh-oh. Well, cool. So this is just how we're gonna go through, uh, Wellington Wells. Well, let's go! Allow me... That's the last time you, you do that around here! Show your Look at him. Oh, really? <laughs> this ought to be interesting. That 
the one that did it. Bobbies. Protecting the haves from the have nots since 1829. I better skulk past them or it's going to be a bit of a rush. Get him, lads. I see you. You're coming with me. Huh. Let's go. You won't get away with this. Let's go. Uh, 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 I choose no. Yeah. All he really did just choose violence, huh? Coming right on me. Oh, fuck. Right behind me. He is still right on my fucking trail. Jesus. need more honey. Uh, I don't know I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna need it. What on earth do you think you're All right, I don't have Stop being so bloody difficult. That's the guilty uh, bugger. Right there. Fuck off. Okay, there's just no way out of this, huh? Oh, 
fire right. And we wait for them to lose interest. I have had any healing items at all. I do. Okay. Let's just go absolutely tank. That's your loot. Okay, cool, cool. Might need that later. Actually, I might need that really soon. Take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh. But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Some sort of silly prank. When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time.
Don't worry about me just absolutely robbing this woman blind. Um, Here we go. She yeah. certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her. Milk, bit of sugar, makes everything better. So, she's got coffee while the rest of us are drinking toasted chicory. <laughs> oh, I have to. Oh, I have to. <laughs> Outfit is Ollie. Let's go. Mm, I don't think she likes him very much. <laughs> I might. Fish eye is just my Okay. Does she have any honey that I stole, by the way? Because I could use honey. Honey is good. It does not appear that I have any honey. A lily bolt for that. <sighs> but yeah. Cabinets, cabinet tops, and the eyes. Yeah, hell yeah. Get the soldier in the main outfit. Absolutely. Bro, don't think I wouldn't. Absolutely robbed or blind. Um, this is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am gonna kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry. I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going All to right, need an ready. answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Response to Clive. Uh, I thought we had that. I guess we're going up here then. Oh, 
Okay, Mr. Birthwistle, you can have as big an office as you like. Mm, that doesn't sound like Miss Bing, does it? Too late now, I guess. Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. This prank? Oh! Oh! Who's that? Why don't you go find out? If you're going to talk to that Bobby, you can't do it looking like Ollie Starkey. Who the hell am I supposed to look like then? King Edward? Maybe there's a maid's uniform in the house somewhere. Come in, Constable. Everything's perfect. Yes! Right. We'll just see about that. regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away from Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple from the executive committee. I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. I, is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right, tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up, lock her up, take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie, so they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye, I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret, because she was dead. You've got to eat. I'm going to throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give this me is my fucked joy? up. I'll get you that coffee yogurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> All right, coffee yogurt. What is yogurt exactly? It's fermented milk, like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. All right. We're keeping the maid dress on. If you expect it any different, I'm oh, I I'm that's sorry to disappoint. Coffee yogurt, a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you'd better give her that yogurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. 
Oh, father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely color combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realize she was quite this popular. So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you, uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty, and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. What was in here? Another cat. Okay, well, we'll worry about that here in a sec. Let's go ahead, sit the door. Here's an accounting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word. Well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. This is uncomfortable. She was gagged. Yeah. Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out more, Ollie. I'm afraid she's been gone Just from the office right for direction. some time. Good luck. Why do I feel like a squealer? Off you go. This whole fucking thing is eerie as shit. Last glucose syringe, so better make this count. I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish. 
I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naismith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. I think he's getting upset. Ollie, you better talk to him. Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. You come right in. Miss Bing? You around? You better get Miss Bing back to the closet. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I've forgotten that. Well, it's also not terribly true because Sally exists, but whatever. <laughs> Let's go see the executive committee. Oh. People have to know. In an hour. You horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. Oh. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry. Find them. Right. No more right. Right. the nice guy. Am I gonna fight in the main dress? I might as well.
did loot that place immediately, you are correct. There's some honey over there. I need that. Unexpected. Ow. But I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen. Unfortunately, I need these, so. Oh, hello. Hey, guys. Okay, well. Still happens to be night. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Yeah. I won't have it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> more nerve-wracking than I would have expected it to be. Ugh, it's so fucking early though. There's no possible way I'm gonna be able to get out of here. Can I like climb up there? If my brothers could see me now. My brothers can see me now, outside in the dark, wearing a maid dress. Let's go. Because <laughs> I haven't taken that thing off yet. <laughs> Alright, so how do I get to where I need to be? Uh, I need to go down that way. Absolutely. Ollie's gonna rock this, rock this maid dress. Absolutely slay queen. It appears I might have gotten myself stuck.
In all my time in the army, I never fired a shot. <sighs> Just gonna be sitting here waiting for a bit. I'm really not sure how I'm gonna get around everyone like this. Well, you know what? No, because... No, there was just not gonna be any way I could get through that gate without Joy. And I'm not about to sit here and take Joy with Ollie, because I don't know how... I don't know that'll, how that'll affect him. Seems to be awfully against it, so... I'll just wait for them to get bored. Play this! Play this slow game as safe as possible. You can't hide from me. You're not human. <sighs> Can we go to sleep soon? Please. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's getting tired. There's not a single place to rest, though. Fucking leave. I can't go anywhere. Think you can defy authority, do ya? Moldy and dank. Mm -hmm. Just how I like it. Good. I'm sorry. Now we can come back here without all those disagreements. Sleeve, yeah. It's just the main outfit sleeve. Like, I don't care if. Look, I don't care if you were a, a, a soldier in the military, put on the mate dress. No 
I'll be watching over you. And then there'll be cake and prizes for all winners, and everyone's a winner, and everyone will be there. See what you're up to. Can't hide from me. I can just wear the main dress and they don't care. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Official maid dress build. Hell yeah, let's go. Y'all thought I was merely joking when I said I would happily wear, wear the maid dress. What? Oh fuck! You! you. With this. What? If I made more than one D&D character, I'd probably do that. Cause I've, what was it? My first one's a farmer. My first one's a farmer, uh, wrote. I'd happily try to figure out how to make something else work. Hello. What can I do you for today? Oh, you're a... You're a buddy, huh? I didn't think you played D&D. I played it once in the past year. <laughs> or like, um, I played it back in like 3.5, like way, 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 way back. Um, and then I stopped playing it for years. And then Heaton wanted to get me back into it. So we started playing a one shot. Um, and right now I'm playing as like a, a farmer goblin who doubles as a rogue. Uh, the one shot is not yet finished, but she's been kind of waiting for part two to happen. Um, it was going to be Sunday, but then Heaton wanted to do something else, so... Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Sorry, I can't remember what I came here for. You have an extra day, have you? I'm not surprised you're not finding what you want. I used to have more interesting stock than Lionel Cashier robbed me. Lionel? Of the odds and bobs? Sure. Went out a fly, model citizen. Where do you think his stock comes from? We haven't had a factory since the late, great, you know. Thing we don't talk about. I told the bobbies, but I just laughed. 
He pays him off, you know. You don't believe him, do you? Well, supposing I were to lend you a hand? You're not serious. Let's suppose that bullet-headed Bobby wound up somehow in the bin near the odds of Bob's. There'd be a nice commission on whatever my stuff we retrieve. You're going to attack policemen? Don't get all up on your high horse. Who cares what I'm going to do from day to day? Fucking Uncle Jack fundraiser dweebs. They'll just attack me outright if I'm not careful. Couldn't be better, thanks. I'm terribly sorry, sir. The executive committee have decided to close the parade to visitors for the duration. Duration of what? They neglected to specify, sir. But I have been specifically informed that it is unrelated to the dispersion of plague. So, you may put your mind at ease in that regard. Then how the fuck am I supposed to get to the parade, you bell-headed turd? Perhaps you can dig a tunnel, sir. Good luck. Fuck's sake! It wasn't helping me anyways. Aren't there already tunnels? For the train tracks, oh sure, but there's no way past the hatch on the other side. Believe me, I tried. Then how does the Motlin get to the village from the mines on Appleholm? You're right, there must be tunnels. I've no idea where. Do I have to spell it out for you? Dr. Faraday! Oh, yes, she designed the Motlin floor system. Oh, she's got to have the blueprints for the Motlin tunnels. Bravo, Ollie. One day you won't need me anymore. Don't you start talking nonsense, lassie. Huh? I'll go see Dr. Faraday. So the parade's locked up tighter than a vicar's bumhole. Lovely. But there's the Motoline tunnels. Dr. Faraday has to have a map. Maybe she'll let me make a copy. <sighs> time we have for this, uh, cause it is roughly five minutes. Where are we going? Up there. Oh yeah, we don't have the time. This is very, very Bioshock reminiscent. Yeah, I said that back when I was playing Arthur's story. It reminds me a lot of, of Bioshock as well. TBH. Anyway. So that's that. Tomorrow, I guess we do good a bit again. Um, and then Under Hero after that. So, yeah, might as well head out. I don't think I have time to do this this uh, mission with Doctor Faraday. Uh, we'll we'll come back to it next week. Um, yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing Gudeman. Uh, no, wait, no, yeah, no. Tomorrow's Wednesday. So yeah, that's, that's good to midday. And then after, it's not under hero, after that it's, uh, Pokemon. Cause I moved Pokemon to Thursdays. So yeah. Anyway. Later guys.